for us a different world in divorce court now. They're watching and doing different things. Mojo basically saying, that's why I had to transition. And now we go into games and the first game is the X-Men game. And now you guys start right now. And the scene ends and we gonna get into the next scene. So now here, right from the beginning, like I said, Jubilee excited. She's happy to be a star. And the first stage is her versus the Sentinels. Well, I should say Jubilee and Roberto. Um, they got this delusional stuff going on with the Sentinels, with the Sentinels, and Roberto is basically not trying to really be down, but Jubilee is all in. And then you see the graphics. She's fighting just like the game. We can remember the playing the, for those, well, everybody can't. But those who remember playing those games, it looks, they got these points that look just like the old school games. But Jubilee is basically doing her thing, kicking moves, the basic moves, and she's using her powers you're seeing at the same time. It's a dope way that they put that together. So Jubilee basically beats the Sentinels, Sentinels up. All different type of Sentinels come. And as she's doing that, the fans are going crazy. All these aliens and intergalactic fans, they're in this crowds cheering on. Yeah, go Jubilee. They want to see victory. They want to see action. They want to see drama. So after she trashes the um, Sentinels, Mojo is growing from the ratings. And Mojo gets back to his big, strong, fat size, basically. So now they enter the stage two. And now they're in the Savage Lands. They fighting all the dinosaur mutants now. But this time, maybe Roberto is excited. Roberto is starting to fight. He's not using his powers, but he's basically doing the little jabs and stuff like that, like the basic um, video games. If basically, you know how a kid would play who doesn't know how to play, but just doing punches and kicks and can't do any of the moves. That's what it reminded me of. They did really good with this, and Jubilee's still doing all her special moves and everything. But these dinosaur mutants are too strong, and at this time, all of a sudden, a hand comes out, snatches them, and saves them. And Mojo is pissed off because the dinosaurs looked like they was about to start winning. So Jubilee and Roberto was saved again. Mel Mojo was furious. He's mad. And this is when we see that Spiral is officially working for him. Spiral is there with, uh, with you know, she's trying to figure out what's going on. And it seems like now they realize there's some person who's going around and trying to save them and they know who it is, but they're trying to not even mention it. And they just want Spiral to, Mojo basically, I want you to just fix this. And basically Spiral's like, yo Mojo, if you didn't kill all the tech support and tech, tech technicians, I wouldn't be here all alone. And it's kind of deep because listen, Spiral, like we spoke about, she used to be under, or right now she is under the control of Mojo and she's the one who made him get the six arms or eight arms or whatever it is that they have but the point is those arms now because they don't have the technicians it's like oh it's given a practical reason she needed to have they needed more people more hands so he made her get more arms it's a deep way that they put that together so she's in there trying to fix the system or the game and trying to stop whatever's coming in this glitch in the system now is how they're referring to it so anyway now they're at the final stage and Jubilee is excited, but Roberto is telling her, like, listen, Jubilee, like, this is all good, but something is not right about this. This is like Magneto. This looks like Magneto's old place, but why? We should be leaving. Jubilee's basically, like I said, saying, nah, I'm doing good. We doing good. Let's stay. The fans love it. I love it. This is fun. Why would we want to go back to that old boring place? And as Roberto was basically saying, Jubilee, you need to be more mature. It's time to stop thinking, you know, I understand it's your birthday, but we got to think beyond that. And as he's trying to give her advice and stop and and show some maturity. Mojo sends Magneto and knocks Roberto out of the way, almost knocks him through the glass. He's basically kind of looking like he's about to die. So that snapped Jubilee into uh, her zone. And she's basically like, wow, I gotta fight Magneto by myself. But if this is a video game, I'm a video gamer. I know how video games work. So she basically used the concept of the cycles. Y'all know how that goes. You see, even from Mario, there's a certain time Bowser's throwing certain fireballs, you jump over them, then you know you could go either run um, under him or wait and jump over him. The same type of thing. So she waited for Magneto's cycle and she ended up doing her thing, beating Magneto. After she beats Magneto, she realizes that, wow, Roberto's really about to die and I don't know what to do. And that's when she just sees this glowing light and there's a 
green glowing X there for her, and it's a one-up, basically. Long story short, it's a free life to save Roberto. They got saved again. So now she puts it on Roberto. He wakes up and he's like, yo, was I about to die? What did I die? What's going on? And Jubilee is just like speechless and don't know what to say. She's excited. And at this moment, you can see, oh, they got some type of romantic thing going on officially right there. You can kind of feel that. So Roberto was mad, like, yo, she, like, come on, Jubilee. I, I warned you before that happened. We got to go. Why are we staying in a game that we know was ran by a villain? And Jubilee is like, yeah, you're right. But you got to admit, at least we was able to see me beat Magneto. And Mojo was mad. And as soon as she sa he says this, or she says that, that's when Magneto also rises up as well. He has a one-up as well. And now they don't know what's going on. But as Magneto does that, and he's about to destroy them, they get saved again. This time, that same person coming from the ceiling to save them, we finally get to figure out who this is.